What's up YouTube, it's Black Friday, and today I want to talk about the sales that are going on between Adobe and Affinity. See which is better, see which might be right for you. So let's go ahead, let's dive in and take a look at this. Okay, so I've got pulled up on my iPad here, both the website for Creative Cloud and the website for Affinity. And we can see right away that Affinity has 30% off everything and Adobe has 25% off all apps. And we just wanna take a look at this, see which one of these is the better deal. Now, it'll be no surprise to you that I'm probably going to think Affinity is the better deal because you aren't signing up for a subscription. But let's go ahead and look. So we've got all apps here. It looks like the photography bundle's not on sale. So it looks like pretty much only the all apps bundle. You have to sign up for the entire Creative Cloud to get anything. This ends November 27th, so it actually ends on Black Friday today. Now, sometimes Adobe goes ahead and extends that later, depending on how well the Black Friday sale goes, but it doesn't look like they're saying that right now. Now, when we wanna click here is see offer terms, because normally with Adobe, if you've already signed up, in the past, if you've had a Creative Cloud subscription, you aren't eligible for this. So this is normally for new users. So let's see. It looks like it started November 16th and it's going through November 27th. So again, only until Black Friday. Available in the United States, Canada, and Mexico, except for Quebec. Okay, valid only for people 18 plus. Um, one per customer, 12 month subscription commitment. So if you wanted to cancel down the road, you wouldn't be able to because you'd be committed for at least 12 months of that subscription at the lower price, the $40 price. Unless you elect to change your subscription, you'll have it automatically renewed at the standard rate. So of course it will keep going. That's pretty normal with subscriptions. If the standard subscription rate changes, we'll make a reasonable effort to notify you. Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't say that it's only available to new users from what I see here. So maybe if you have canceled and you sign up again, you can get it. Let's go ahead, click see pricing and details. Oh, if you don't sign up for the annual plan, it's gonna be 79.49. Wow, I didn't even know that existed. Tells you all the apps, 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, which is great. Um, Adobe fonts, which is a huge reason to sign up for something like this, right? Fonts are expensive. And if you need a lot of fonts, getting all of those fonts is great. The cloud storage, another great reason to sign up for this, because if you need to sync between devices, if you need to keep a lot of documents in the cloud, that's great. Now, 100 gigabytes, not a lot if you're a photographer. So you may have to look into the photography special for that. But again, it doesn't look like there's any Black Friday discount for the photography bundle. That's it. I don't think you would be able to sign up for this if you had an existing Creative Cloud account. I don't think you could just be like, oh, I'd like to take advantage of the Black Friday sale. That is Adobe. I wanna look at the student plan really quick because I'm an educator and so that interests me. The student plan goes down to $15.99 a month. Oh, that's good, 70% off of the regular. Not 70% off the student. It says 70% off, but it's 70% off the regular, not what a student would normally be paying. Let's see if there's any terms and conditions here. It does require an institutional affiliation, so you can't just be a student learning on, on your own or something like that. You have to actually be affiliated with a university or some other kind of education institution. So you pay $15.99 a month for the first year and then $29.99 a month after that. And that's the thing is it goes up again. So the students always get like a $20 a month deal at the beginning. This is really taking $4 off of the $20 price but after the first year, it always goes up to $30 a month. And so it's a little tricky. Um, it's a little bait and switch on their part. And then of course they want that to just renew after you leave the university at $52.99 a month forever. So it's going to cost a bit. So you don't have a lot of time to decide this. You need to decide today, the day this video is being released, but let's go ahead and take a look at Affinity as well. I didn't look at the business and school plans because that's something that people watching YouTube are not looking at, right? Those are like institutional licenses that are being dealt with at very large scale. But let's look at Affinity. So with Affinity, again, 30% off everything. So immediately we're getting 5% more off just as a percentage. And we already know that, of course, this costs a lot less. Okay, let's click view the sale. Here we are, so 30% off Affinity Designer, 30% off Affinity Photo, Publisher, and then everything else. And 
what I want to know is, are the iPad apps also 30% off? Because you don't purchase those through the Affinity website. And a lot of people might want to pick those up. So let's go ahead and let's click find out more on Designer. Let's see what we've got. Okay, a lot of stuff about how cool they are. We already know that. Looking for something about the sale. Okay, here we go. All right, perfect. So, Mac, $34.99. So, only $35 for Mac, $35 for Windows and only $13.99, so it is 30% off on iPad as well, only $13.99, $14 for the iPad version of these apps. Wow, that is a steal of a deal. So if you were thinking about picking up Affinity programs, now is the time to do it. Of course, earlier in the year, we saw the 50% off sale. We've never seen a sale at 50% off before. That was really exclusive to the pandemic. I don't expect to see that happen again. And so 30% off is about the best that you can expect. and Affinity apps are already super cheap for what they do, right? $50 for professional programs is nothing and $20 for the iPad version. Now you can get the desktop versions for $35 and the iPad version for just $14. But let's go ahead, we need to know when this ends so that it gives you some idea. I don't know if it ends today or you'd think they would wanna tell us that. <laughs> We'd like to know when this sale ends. Um, and of course, everything else in, in their store is also 30% off, it looks like. So they've got brush packs and font packs and lots of different things that you can also buy. Let's see. Not seeing when it ends. I wonder if they haven't announced an end time for it. I'm going to go ahead and check my email because I know they sent me an email about this Black Friday sale as well. I'll see if that tells. Okay, the email does tell. The email says that the sale ends December 6th. So you have a lot more time to deal with this than you do the Adobe thing. If you wanna get on that Adobe sale, you need to do it right now. In fact, if you're watching this video after Black Friday, it might be too late for you to get in on that. Although, like I said, Adobe sometimes extends that into the holidays a little bit. But Affinity looks like they're going to do this until December 6th at least. And so you've got a little bit of time to think about whether these are right for you. You can go ahead and watch some of my videos on Affinity programs to kind of see what you think. Watch some of my comparisons with Adobe programs. I've done those for the iPad versions. And so you can check those out, see what you think, and then decide if you're going to buy these. Now, I'm not sponsored by Adobe or Affinity. I have no relationship with either of those companies. I just think that the deal here is really good for Affinity and the deal for Adobe is not that great because you're still getting locked into a subscription model just at a lower price, but only for a year. They don't do that like locked in forever at this price type of thing. So it's good for a year to get that lower price, you're still going to spend a lot more on that than you are in Affinity. Think about it this way, right now at $35, you're paying just over $100 to get all three programs for desktop, which is crazy. That's like, <laughs> you can be doing professional design work for just over $100, which is amazing. Or on the iPad, you can be doing it for like $30. Um, so go ahead, check out these deals, see what's right for you, and then drop in the comments, let me know, what are you gonna do? Are you making any Black Friday purchases for design programs right now? Let me know what you're doing, what you're thinking, and we'll chat in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.